President. Today, the resolution presented an opportunity for redemption proposed by the United States and supported by a global coalition. This resolution offered the United Nations another chance to finally condemn Hamas. We thank the United States and Ambassador Haley for standing up for what is right. And we applaud the plurality of member states that stood by the truth, took a moral stand, and condemned Hamas for its relentless acts of terror. Today, we achieved a plurality. That plurality would have been a majority if the vote had not been hijacked by a political move of procedure. But in one strong, courageous voice, we have brought Hamas to justice. For those member states that rejected this resolution, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Wait when you will have to deal with terrorism in your own countries. Your silence in the face of evil reveals your true colors. It tells us what side you are really on, a side that does not care for the lives of innocent Israelis and innocent Palestinians who have fallen victim to the terrorists of Hamas. Those who endorse terrorism today will be forced to face its deadly consequences tomorrow. To the children in Israel, in Sderot, Netivot, Ashkelon, we salute you who so bravely endure unthinkable dangers of falling rockets. To the people of Gaza, to the people of Gaza, we also think of you. You deserve a brighter future, not one controlled by a regime of terrorists. To Hamas, the world will not be silent until you stop your violent and illegal ways. Your time is up. Whether or not they choose to admit it, all of the member states in this room know full well that Hamas is a radical Islamic terror organization dedicated to the destruction of Israel. For the past 13 years, since Israel withdrew completely from the Gaza Strip and Hamas violently took it over, the Hamas terrorists have launched over 13,000 rockets into Israeli communities, deliberately targeting civilians. This past November, Hamas fired nearly 500 rockets into Israel over a two-day period. Hamas commits a double war crime by launching rockets from Palestinian neighborhoods in Gaza directly into Israeli civilian population center. Hamas has constructed nearly 40 terror tunnels that infiltrate Israeli border towns to kidnap and kill Israelis. We exposed and neutralized 15 tunnels this year alone, most recently this past October. Hamas has carried out hundreds of suicide bombings, shootings and stabbings that have killed and wounded thousands of innocent people. It has organized endless violent riots on the security fence between Israel and Gaza, seeking to invade and overrun Israel, and encourage young Palestinians to send flaming materials into Israel. Hamas exploits the people of Gaza, its own Palestinian brothers and sisters, as human shields, an activity that is both illegal and deplorable. Hamas deprives its people of their basic human rights and steals billions of dollars of humanitarian aid paid for by your citizens' tax money to fund its terror ambitions. Day in and day out, Hamas denies Israel's very right to exist. Hamas is also in flagrant violation of international law by continuing to hold hostage four young Israelis is captured. In 2014, Hamas killed and kidnapped Oron Shaul and Adar Goldin. Hamas is also holding Avera Mangisto and Isham El Sayad, two young Israeli civilians who suffer from mental illness. 
Hamas has refused to provide any sign of life to the families of these men and does not permit ICLC visits. The UN has a legal and a moral obligation to ensure the return of our boys. While Hamas flagrantly violates international law, its leadership has the audacity to complain about Israel to the UN. Just last week, Hamas leader Ismail Aniya sent this letter to the UN. All of you got it. To condemn Israel and call for more violence. Ismail Aniya approached you, Madam President. Aniya is a man who has praised Osama bin Laden, referring to him as a holy warrior. The blood of countless innocent lives drips from his hands. There is no difference between the evil of Hamas and the barbarity of ISIS or Al-Qaeda or Boko Haram. All of these organizations are committed to terrorizing innocent people. Madam President, today, as the Jewish people are celebrating the miracle of Hanukkah, a plurality of UN member states took a moral stand. They supported this resolution and condemned Hamas unequivocally. Other nations chose to vote against this resolution. Some sat passively on the sidelines in an attempt to appear neutral or objective. Let me be clear, there is no such thing here as neutrality. There is no such thing as both sides. There is no moral equivalency. There is a terrorist organization that endangers civilians flagrantly violating the law, and there is a state that protects them. Today, the majority of the international community has exposed Hamas. Others have turned a blind eye. It will not be long until all of the nations of the world stop turning their backs on the thousands of Palestinian and Israeli victims of terror. And finally, make a clear and unequivocal statement condemning Hamas. Thank you, Madam President. I thank the distinguished